The Jets picked up their first win of the preseason on Tuesday against the Senators. Despite the win, head coach Rick Bonus hasn't been pulling any punches when it comes to talking about what the team needs to improve on. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. The players have heard it first. We talk about those things. There's a, the, if you're watching the game, some of those things should be very evident to you. Right? So what am, what am I going to do? Pretend it's not happening? I'm going to tell you what I see happening. But the, the players will hear it first. I'm not going to pretend it's not going on. If when I know what's going on, it'll, but again, the most important thing, it'll be addressed with the players first. And if you're watching the games, you guys got to come to your own conclusions. Maybe you're gonna, some nights you're going to disagree with me. and That's fine, too. Jets are always, you know, a really nice thing to have downtown. Uh, you feel that energy changing, you know, it breathes the, the life into things a little bit. So Jets games are expecting to drive up business activities for businesses downtown. With the downtown scene on a slow path to recovery, it has been challenging for businesses finding their way back to normalcy post-pandemic. Mackenzie Robb, general manager at Rudy, says business activities are half of what they used to be pre-pandemic, and with jet seasons approaching, there is much to expect. Yeah, the foot traffic, seeing new faces, uh, having having new people in the building is always exciting for us. Uh, that's you know outside of our norm. Uh, we're definitely staffed and ready for it. I'm really excited to have some more people in here, and yeah, it's been a lot of months like knowing that this season is coming, and we're. We're excited. We're ready for her to come. Rob says they're hopeful for a greater turnout of foot traffic this season as opposed to last. Definitely last season, and it'll be interesting to see going into this season because last season so many people were still on a work from home program. Where as in years past, you know, if there's an evening game, you just finish work, you throw your jersey on, and you're going to the bar to have a couple of drinks before the game. Whereas when people were working from home, I found they were just kind of like waiting until they absolutely needed to go downtown. So we were kind of missing out on the drinks or dinner before the game opportunities. She says she's optimistic that things will continue to follow trends of recovery as she continues to see positive changes week after week. In Winnipeg, Timmy Olatsunde, City News.